Welcome back to Let's Play Feed the Beast Genesis, episode 11, with your host, Kinchin. So, we are trying to progress in our mystic agriculture right now, and that actually means it looks like we're going to have to sidestep into technology for a little bit, because I was looking at Project Genesis, and Elemental Craft is down a little further in the tech tree. So they want us to do diamonds and steel and claymation. We needed the elemental craft in order to do our elemental seeds quest here, right? To get more earth and air seeds, we need these shards. And we don't have a good way of getting these shards right now because we, I have no idea how primal craft works. Right, and doesn't look like Primal Craft is anything there. And mobs don't drop these things in the overworld. Now, it is possible we could go and fight Wither Skeletons in the Nether. These would maybe, maybe drop these. I don't know if they will. I think if they have a radiation suit on, they only drop the experience flasks. But if we look at the kind of whole point of these is to get these essences so we can grow these in the garden cloches. So that's why we're over here looking at our garden cloches. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to pick up these and bring them over to the simulation side because like this base is really cool, but it's also quite large for our current needs. And maybe we'll expand back into these wings eventually. But right now, I would like to keep everything over on that side of the base. Chapter completed emergency repairs. Interesting. Oh. Ooh, okay. Moving liquids around may be required for some tasks until you get the infrastructure back up and running. It may be useful to repurpose some of the fluid transported from the agricultural wing. And that's what we just did, right? Those, this is the agricultural wing, and those are the fluid transporters. Annoying that these are not touching each other. We're gonna do something strange, which is put down more of them so that we can alt mine them. Why did that say 15 block? Oh, because they're three blocks tall. I see. I see. Sneaky. So I think we'll set up a corner here, and I do think we're just gonna have to go right into immersive engineering. Why don't we see what, if any, immersive engineering tech we have? In our tech trees, just coal. So not very deep there. I worry that we're missing some intended part of the progression here. So our garden cloches need, oh no, I don't know what we're gonna use for power here. I was hoping we just set up a water wheel and a dynamo. Oh, but we can use these, right? Cause these are the immersive engineering connectors and they work with the coal generator. Now we do have the electrodynamic, these things, right? The thermal electric generators, but we need ice to use them, I think. Or maybe they work with just room temperature, but ice would be ideal. It'd be nice to have passive energy generation to handle these. So why don't we give these a shot and see if we put these down, if they'll do what we hope they do. The uh, version we looked at had uranium and ice around them. All right, so why don't we just see if we can reconstruct that. I don't remember if these were at 90 degree angles or not. I also worry we're missing one. And then let's see if these produce power without ice. Let's decide what's easier to make, an accumulator or a battery box. Okay, so that's actually pretty darn easy to make. And that's already difficult to make. All right, so yeah, we're not making that. Let's make a new battery box. We'll have a separate battery box over there. And let's just get crafting. Let's see what we can do here. All right, so we need coal, redstone, copper cable. I guess we uh, desperately need one of these things, right? A wire mill. Ugh. Okay, well, gonna make a wire mill, I guess. This is gonna quickly become quite ugly. 
Okay, so we can make these with refined iron. Oh, we can no, thank God. I think we can convert this back or we can. And uh, <laughs> this is, uh, is going to be expensive for a while. All right, we'll have lots of plain copper cable, I guess. What what quest line do you think we're pushing through here? Oh, I only get one if I use that. Uh, what a pain. Greg Tech works like this too, where if you use better materials to make stuff, you get more copies of these like subcomponents back. All right, so now we have the wire mill. Oh, I shouldn't have made all these extra wires then. Quest complete. All right, let's go see what we're doing here. Okay, apparently we're, <laughs> apparently we're doing the uh, electrodynamic theory quest. Wow. What a, uh, is that a banana? The first daily electrodynamics processing the machine, the wire mill will take raw material ingots and create wires for crafting or building contraptions. It's wire mill's 120 volt version, so make sure not to over voltage. Oh, it gives us a free back box. That's exactly what we were trying to get this whole time. We learned that we can't actually hook these tin cables to bat boxes. They just explode. So I wanted to see with the bat box if these things are storing power. All right, so we'll just set this up here. I've already forgotten which color is which. All right, we can break our coal generator. All right, red is input. That was way easier than looking through the silly book. So why don't we actually move this? You know, it would be cute to just put it here, right? And then we put one of these here. We connect. Oh, uh, hmm. I need a relay. Is that what they're called? At least that's easy. And we get a bazillion of them. All right, so let's try that. This isn't charging, though, so this is not working already. Okay, I was afraid this would happen. I do want passive power generation on this. So now I think we're going into industrial craft for a little bit. Let's put away all this. All right, so if we get a compressor, so we'll take the compressor. We'll take one of these FE to LV flux converters here. Um, we use our wrench to assign that end, put that there, and this, in theory, should have power. Um, I don't think the flux converter can explode. Let's hope to gosh it can't. And then we'll test this. Can I scoop out from this? I can. All right, so this does not have power. Why not? That's so weird. When this isn't drawing power, that doesn't work. Oh, it ate my bucket? Snowballs to get ice. Okay, there's my bucket. All right, I was gonna be really, uh, really miffed there. Cell, it's just called cell. Oh, we can make them out of tin. All right, let's try that. How do you think we get water into these? All right, we can just right click water. There we go, now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. And that should make way more of these. Okay. I think there's a limit to the stack size on these. I don't think there is. Well, I mean, I think there is, but I think it's... So now we have a stack of cells we can work with. I wonder if it destroys the cell. Honestly, oh, no. Okay, we have to... Uh, we have to hopper it out or extract it somehow. What do you think? Oh, we have an item transporter. Heck, yeah. Okay, apparently it looks like they have to occupy the same space. I was really hoping that wouldn't be the answer. <laughs> That's fine, right? So we just put this up here. We do that. And then, oh, oh. Okay, so you can click on the spot. Oh, you know, we can also put it on up, can't we? That'll be easier. And then we'll just disable these other slots for now. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Snowball came out. And a cell came out. Great. Okay, so we're going to use this to make our ice. Fortunately, this will be a while, I think. All right, just to make one of these. Okay, so that's a one to one. Um, then three to one, and another three to one, I think. So in order to make, I don't know how many we need. We need one, two, three, four, five? Really? Math? Oh, okay, so we did have enough uranium. So we need five, which is three times three times five. All right, so we need 35 snowballs. And then while those are cooking up, uh, let's set up a cute little spot for our cloches. This, this seems like an easy way to get infinite water. Can we, can we just make a sink block? Oh my god. I oh, still need a jar anyways. All right, and let's just test this real quick. I just want to see if, yeah. Okay, so good. The infinite water sinks work. Wait. All right, you're fired. That thing is fired. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six of these. Okay, that's better than I thought. And then I think it matters which end of these connects to the pipe. It says power fluid items for respective ports. Water and power are always required. You may add fertilizer to the slot on the left to increase growth speed. Soil and seeds are placed in the middle. Each seed requires correct soil to grow on, with dirt being automatically tilled and farmed. Okay, that wasn't helpful at all. All right, so let's see if they connect in the front. They do. So let's do this. Let's put our sink. Where's my sink, guys? Are we, are we gonna are we gonna immediately pull the tape? We've never pulled the tape during the recording before. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll pull the tape. We'll be right back. All right, so we pulled the tape. I noticed we got our jar back. So what happened when we broke the sink is we got an empty jar back. So I think we'll place our sink here. So we just learned. We should probably put more thought into that decision making than we do. All right, so these are filling up. Hopefully they don't go through faster than we can possibly use them. Now let's see, where should we put power? We have to hang our power somewhere that has an LOS to things. So maybe we'll put it there. I don't know if there's a limit to how far we can run a cable. Like, could we put it all the way on the ceiling? We need these thing, LV wire connectors, six of them. All right, so we've got those. Now we have to hook those up to this guy. Now these leaves are definitely going to be in the way of a connection from this to that. Ugh. I don't understand this thing here. Like, why doesn't it draw power that way? So, it looks like there is a bug with electrodynamics. In previous versions this worked, but in the current version, you can't directly input into IC2 flux. That's what this comment says. What a pain. Let's go see if putting these down work. Okay, so these are making power. They're storing it in this thing. And let's hope that this, there's no way. That's fine. That's fine. Sorry, plant. And now these should get power. All right. Now we're cooking. Now we're in business. So these are now charged. So this should be charging. So let's get some seeds. And then... How do we make these? We're doing the pedal thing, right? This. Boom. Boom, doom, boom, 
boom, boom, boom, boom, boom. And then, boom, right click that. And then we're gonna put our air shards in. Now we're gonna take our four elemental seeds and we're gonna get some farmland to put with them, obviously, naturally. Which, oh, thank you, look, we have four <laughs> extra. <laughs> Uh, by sheer coincidence. And then we'll uh, put that there, right? Okay. So first, let's see how power is doing. That number is still going up, so we have sufficient power. Always a good sign. Um, oh, these came with fertilizer. Depending on what happens this might all move into like this side room maybe Maybe we could clear out this space right bees aren't doing nothing in the sense that there are no bees oh we can watch them grow inside i wish there was some kind of progress bar in here that told us what was happening all right and there's one cycle so definitely faster than the farm, but not easier than the farm. All right, so that took longer than I thought it would just to set those up. I hope standing on these blocks of uranium is safe. I bet we can export out of these. I really wanna see. Okay, so we don't have Ender IO. Let's see what item transport things do we have. Oh, do we have, um, we do have logistic pipes or mechanism. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, oh, we could make those right now. Let's go do that. Let's go make some of this. Let's hope we have a wrench that can interact with them too. Let's see, so one, two, three, four, boom. And let's see, can we do it with this one? Nope. Can we do it with this one? Uh, nope. All right, what other wrenches do we have that are affordable? What is the mechanism tool called? It's uh, the configurator. Yeah, we can make one of those. We can make a configurator, no big deal. I don't think we need to charge it either. We can just use it as is set these to extract no Ugh, i was really hoping that would work let's see am i extracting from the wrong face let's connect there oh it does connect there too okay maybe we uh pick up all these move this forward a little bit do a test yoink oh yep Oh, and it's auto-exporting. That's cool. So I'm pretty sure mechanism things are clever, but we'll just leave them like that. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was that was pretty. That was pretty. Uh, I was not expecting. See, I thought we'd have to access the back of these. I do wish this was prettier. Like immersive, oh, immersive has conveyor belts, right? So we put we could have put conveyor belts here. Uh, I'm pretty sure those use leather, though. I don't want to use leather. All right, so that was uh, immensely more painful than I was expecting that to be. If that's enough content for an episode, we'll uh, pick up in the next one. If not, I'm just gonna edit this part out. What what did we do this episode? We we set up that corner and did a lot of troubleshooting. This is what? Almost two hours of filming for what? To find out that there's a bug here that I haven't even fixed yet. I guess I guess we'll, uh, we'll show the corrected version of this. It's dumb though, so it's real dumb. Then we will use our wrench to pick these up. We'll take out our pickaxe. Does that say an axe? 
Wow, that worked fast, okay. All right, so we wanna put this out. P sure that's backwards. Can I wrench it? Can I configure it? Can I hit it with a pickaxe? All right, so now basically power will transfer from that guy to this guy. Then we put the LV flux connector directly on it. And now we attach our compressor. And the question is, will that actually work or not? I have no idea. No idea. All right, there we go. So hopefully this should work, connecting the bat box directly to the converter. Uh, I worry about output here. Like, can I fuel this flux converter fast enough? I don't know, but different problem, different day, right? All right, so I will see you guys in the next episode.